Hello fellow teachers and welcome to my channel. So for today, I will be sharing to you the new guidelines on the performance-based bonus, eligibility requirements, and accountability matrix for the fiscal year 2021 and its succeeding years. This is based on Deped Order Number 005, Series 2022, dated February 24, 2022. For more details, please watch this full video. The Department of Education issues the Enclosed Performance-Based Bonus PBB Guidelines on Eligibility Requirements and Accountability Matrix to provide guidance on the PBB Guidelines, including the new prescribed eligibility requirements and accountability matrix on the grant of PBB starting fiscal year 2021 and the succeeding years. All public elementary and secondary schools and DEPED offices are directed to achieve their criteria and adhere to the accountability matrix on the grant of PBB set in this DEPED order. This, the issuance of this policy, shall guide all DEPED schools and offices in achieving the four dimensions of accountability and in evaluating the performance of each office and personnel. Relevant sections of Deped Order No. 7 Series 2021 or the Multi-Year Guidelines on the Grant of PBB for the Department of Education Employees and Officials and all previous issuances relative to this Deped Order which are found inconsistent are deemed superseded or modified accordingly. This order shall take effect immediately upon its approval and publication in the Deped website. Now, what is in this DEPID Order No. 5 Series 2022? Pursuant to Memorandum Circular No. 2021-1, titled Guidelines on the Grant of PBB for Fiscal Year 2021 under Executive Order No. 80 Series 2012 and Executive Order No. 201 Series 2016 and Memorandum Circular No. 2021-2, Dash 2 titled Supplemental Guidelines on the Grant of the Performance-Based Bonus for Fiscal Year 2021 under Executive Order No. 80, 2021 and Executive Order No. 201, Series 2016 issued by the Interagency Task Force on the Harmonization of National Government Performance Monitoring, Information and Reporting Systems the Department of Education issues this DEPID order to provide the PVP guidelines including the new prescribed eligibility requirements and accountability matrix on the grant of PBB starting fiscal year 2021 and the succeeding years. Now here is the eligibility requirements or the here are the eligibility requirements for the grant of the performance based bonus starting fiscal year 2021 and its succeeding years. For DepEd to be eligible for the grant of PBB, DepEd must attain a total score of at least 70 points based on the PBB scoring system and satisfy the criteria and conditions under the four dimensions of accountability. Performance results, that is um, 25 points, maximum points, process results 25 points financial results 25 points citizen or client satisfaction results 25 points a total or of maximum points 100 points the DepEd's accomplishments for each of their criteria shall be rated using a scale of 1 to 5 where 5 is the highest each criterion has an assigned weight as shown in the table below the maximum score that may be obtained by the agency is 100 points and for it to be eligible for the PBB, DepEd must attain a total score of at least 70 points. A performance rating of 4 in all criteria will yield a total score of 80 points for the agency. To be able to attain a total score of at least 70 points, DepEd should aim for a performance rating of 4 in at least 3 criteria. In such case, while the DepEd will be eligible for the grant of PBB, the unit or office must be responsible for the criteria with a performance rating of below 4 will be isolated. DepEd PBB focused 
accountable offices or office and responsible offices or office must submit evidence of accomplishments of the criteria and conditions for the four dimensions. This includes submissions of all explanations and justifications for deficiencies and non-achievement of targets. Now here is the eligibility of delivery units and individuals. Based on Table 1 to be eligible for PBB, DepEd must again attain a total score of at least 70 points. To be able to attain such score, DepEd must achieve a performance rating of 4 in at least 3 criteria, either from performance, process, financial, and client satisfaction results. In such case, while the DepEd will be eligible for the grant of PBB, the delivery units of eligible agencies shall no longer be ranked. Instead, the units or offices including their heads of offices accountable, accountable and or responsible for the deficiencies shall be isolated based on the identified scenario or cases. Now, if, what if DepEd is non-compliant with the achievement of the specific target implementation or compliance with a specific PBB requirement example financial results who will be isolated I, the isolated will be the accountable office which is um, responsible for the deficiency for that specific target or compliance with a specific PBB requirement now if DepEd is non-compliant due to the non-submission of the required reports to the AO25 Secretariat and or validating agencies, isolated will be the responsible office who failed to submit the report to the validating agency and or to the AO25 Secretariat. Note provided, however, that the accountable offices have submitted the required reports to the responsible office, hence all Accountable offices who fail to submit the report to the responsible office for consolidation will also be isolated. Now, what if there is no identified accountable and or responsible offices? How will the isolation be in cases where the PBB requirements indicator is not lodged to a responsible office? The one who, who will be isolated will be the executive committee members only. Now, for the accountable or responsible office for schools, what will be the treatment for the school in terms of accountability? If ever the school cannot um, pass the requirements, the school head for that school or implementing or operating unit will be the one who will be isolated. Now, here is the new rates of PBB for fiscal year 2021 and its succeeding years. The total score of the DepEd shall be the basis in determining the amount of the PBB. The maximum rate of the PBB for DepEd that will achieve 100 points shall be 100% of the 65% monthly basic salary or MBS of an individual as shown in the table below. Now, if DepEd got 95 points, all its employees or government, all its personnel or employees will receive 95% of their 65% monthly basic salary or that is equivalent to 61.75% of their monthly basic salary. For 90 points, that is 58.5% of their monthly basic salary. 85 points, that is 55.25%. 80 points, 52% of its monthly basic salary. 75 points, that is 48.75% of their monthly basic salary. And if DepEd got 70 points, its personnel will receive 70% of the 65 monthly basic salary, or that is equivalent to 45.5% of their monthly basic salary. To be eligible for PBB, 
debit employees belonging to the first, second, and third levels should receive a rating of at least very satisfactory based on the CEC approved debit results based performance management system or RPMS. Now, if you got um, US or unsatisfactory in your performance rating or in your IPCRF, then you will not receive or you are not eligible to receive for the PBP. Should the DepEd, which after due process by the oversight agency has been determined to have committed a prohibited act, should shall be disqualified from the PBP in the succeeding year of its implementation. Moreover, the CSC or Ombudsman shall file the appropriate administrative case for misrepresentation in the submitted or posted reports and requirements for the PBB. A commission of fraud in the payment of the PBB and violation of the provisions of this memorandum. This debit order shall take effect immediately upon its approval and publication in the DepEd website. Now, that is the new PBP guidelines for the fiscal year 2021 and its succeeding years. Thank you for watching.